What's up, everybody? How's it going today? Welcome back to 815 Off-Road. Today, I am going to finish part one of a video that I started quite a while ago featuring the 2022 Polaris RS1. I did zero to 60s with it pretty much the day after I bought it. It had stock tires, stock clutching, does have a tune on it, and I believe as far as performance, really, that's it. So I went out and did some zero to 60 runs, two wheel drive, four wheel drive in the gravel. Um, since then, I have put much heavier tires on there. I've got now 32 inch XTR 370s and it's also clutched. I don't believe it is clutched perfectly, but it's not too bad. So the reason I'm calling this part one is because I'm gonna get all of these runs done. So then you'll have the stock zero to 60 runs, the zero to 60 runs with the bigger tires and the clutch. And then uh, coming up pretty soon, we're actually going to the Badlands in Attica, Indiana this weekend, but coming up pretty soon, we are going to be doing gears, gear reduction, I should say, not just gears, gear reduction in the transmission for this. So. I'm gonna do, I'll do some zero to 60s after I get the gears done also. And I'm hoping slash guessing that uh, with the big tires and the gear reduction, I'm hoping for at least as fast as stock. We'll see. I mean, most people that have an RS1 know that they are not speed demons, um, but they're pretty quick and nimble, which that's why I like it so much. But I'll do a quick little walk around of the machine, let you see exactly what it's looking like right now. No need to, you know, show what it looked like stock, but I'll slap a picture up real quick of day one stock. Now, this is what it looks like now. All right, so here it is in its present form. As you can see, you know, it's, uh, it's quite a bit bigger than stock machine. I mean, those tires are huge. I've got the suspension cranked up a little bit, but not too much. I do have a lot of ground clearance, but I don't know if you can see that, but there you go. 32, 10, 15 XTR 370s, and they are pretty much brand new. I have one trip to the Cliffs Insane Terrain in Marseilles on there, where I put maybe 10 to 15 miles on them. So they are pretty much brand spanking new. So quick little walk around of it, you know, so that way there you guys can see exactly what we're dealing with. Forgive my messy barn, but uh, it's just been pretty busy lately. And that's just all, or, all I can do, trying to keep it clean. I got my GoPro for these runs. The first videos of the Zero 60s, I did not have the GoPro. I just did the camera views from the, uh, the app for the Draggy unit. We got the draggy right there so i will head out to our little private road and uh we'll see what it's got zero to 60 clutched with 32 inch xtrs all right so here we are are out on a private drag strip got the stock big horns on here we are in two-wheel drive as you can see right there we're going to give it a run in two-wheel drive. Video number one, two wheel drive. Zero to 60, two wheel drive. Here we go.
Okay, well, as you saw from the times in the videos, and if, if you could see the times in the video, I should say, uh, that's a bit surprising. I was not expecting this machine to go faster with these big, heavy 32-inch tires um, with just changing clutching. I did not expect it to be faster than a tuned machine, stock clutching, stock tires. That kind of kind of was very surprising. I mean, two wheel drive and four wheel drive faster. I don't know if you could see the times really good in the video, uh, but I will show them to you real quick, and I'll also post pictures. But um, that was uh, it was a big surprise. So he, here's the actual times. I wrote them down, and uh, now you can see them a little more clearly. All right. Well, there's the times. As you can see, stock tires, stock clutching, two-wheel drive, 7.68. Four-wheel drive, 8.86. Still, I mean, that's, that's definitely not fast, but it's not bad. 32s and clutching, two-wheel drive, 7.36 seconds. That's, uh, that's pretty good. And then when you look at the four-wheel drive, 7.98. I mean, that's almost a second faster so that's that's a bit of a surprise i gotta say it but uh i i'm a little surprised at this machine this is uh so far i'd have to say the machine that i have had the most fun in it may not be a speed demon but this thing is so capable and uh once i get these gears in i will absolutely make sure that the clutching is spot on before i get uh before i do that part of the video i'll, I'll do a, another video so stay tuned for that one sorry i don't mean to be mumbling but i will actually do a second video once i get the gears in and i'll go out and i'll do a couple zero to sixties i'm honestly hoping i mean i'm really hoping to be able to do a wheelie. I wanna be able to pull the front tires off the ground once I get the gear reduction in here. So stay tuned for that next video. And once again, thanks for watching.